Hello there, the YouTube. Hello, downloaders. Hello, heavy metal music fans. My name is Rob, and welcome to my need to know videos about the headliners of Download Festival 2018. On Monday, we talked about Avenged Sevenfold, and today we are discussing the classic rock band Guns N' Roses. These videos are intended to be kind of need to know videos about people going to the festival but maybe don't know as much as they want to about the headliners. So these videos are going to be band history, interesting facts, songs to listen to, things like that. If you know anything else interesting about the band that I've not mentioned, please put it in the comments below. Otherwise, let's begin talking about Guns N' Roses. Guns N' Roses first formed in 1984 with Izzy Stradlin, Axl Rose, Tracy Guns, Rob Gardner and Ole Bick. The name Guns N' Roses is an amalgamation of the two bands the band members left to form Guns N' Roses. The two bands were Hollywood Rose and LA Guns. Guns N' Roses last played Download Festival during the infamous 2006 year, during which they got bottled, which angered Tommy Stinson, who threw his guitar into the crowd, which accidentally hit a cameraman. So hopefully they have a better reception this year. Now time for some fun facts about Guns N' Roses. Axel Rose, as we all know, is an anagram of oral sex. But did you know his real name is William Bruce Rose Jr? Not very rock and roll. The song Welcome to the Jungle is probably one of the most successful songs ever written, and is actually a metaphor for Los Angeles. The title even comes from a homeless man who told Axel Rose, you're in the jungle, you're gonna die. Fun. <laughs> Chinese Democracy is the most expensive album ever created, costing 13 million dollars. This is probably due to the fact that the album was totally re-recorded one year after the scheduled release date. Appetite for Destruction is currently the best-selling debut album of any band in America, selling over 18 million units. The famous album Spaghetti Incident was actually a reference to drugs. The bassist Duff McKagan used to store his drugs in a fridge next to Italian takeout, and so spaghetti became a code word for coke. Now, if you don't know too much about Guns N' Roses and don't know where to even start with their discography, have no fear, I am here. I have written a list of three songs that I think you should listen to before seeing them at Download Festival 2018 on the 10th of June. Now, what I've done is the first song is incredibly famous, totally popular, they are definitely going to put it on their set list. The second song is still a fantastic song of theirs, but maybe just a little bit less well known. And the third song is a wild card that I really like, and it just gives you a different sense of other music the band can play. Number one, Sweet Child of Mine. I mean, it has to be. It's one of the most famous songs in existence. And that opening riff... I don't actually know the riff now that I've said it. The song itself is a slow, wavering story, but actually it's still incredibly singable and is just fantastic. Number two, Rocket Queen. Still an incredible song of theirs, just a little bit less well known. Again, it's got a memorable riff. It's not overly complicated. It's just a great song. Oh, and it actually contains real sex noises of Axl Rose having sex with Adriana Smith. Just saying. And number three, New Rose. Now this was actually written by Brian James of The Damned and was The Damned's first UK single. But Guns N' Roses covered it for the Spaghetti Incident and it's still a fantastic song. They haven't changed too much about it, which I like, but what they've done is they've added more guitar to it, which makes it sound more metal and gives it a much more Guns N' Roses feel. Either way, you should definitely listen to it and also listen to the Damned version, which is equally good. Okay, that is all the Guns N' Roses facts I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, could you just click like and subscribe over there? If you have any other interesting Guns N' Roses facts, please put them in the comments, as well as any other song recommendations. Be sure to check out my other Need to Know video on Avenged Sevenfold, and be sure to check in here on Friday for my final Need to Know video on Download Festival 2018's final headliner, Ozzy Osbourne. My name is Rob, I will see you very soon.